for joining us, everyone. Merci beaucoup d'être ici aujourd'hui. We were just uh, swapping some parenting tips here uh, over the last few moments, and I'm very excited to, uh, to speak to you today about a very important issue. Uh, this fall, the federal election will be a clear choice for Canadians about the type of country you want it to be. Will it be a country where everything continues to get more expensive and your goals and dreams fall further away? Uh, ou est-ce que le Canada va être un pays où la vie est vraiment abordable? Ou peu importe que vous êtes ou l'endroit où vous vivez, vous pouvez réaliser vos rêves et améliorer votre quotidien. That is what this year's election is going to come down to. Who do you trust to leave more money in your pocket so that you and your family can get ahead and not just get by? Now, I have a positive vision for Canada. Et j'ai un plan pour permettre aux Canadiens et aux Canadiennes d'améliorer leur quotidien. Un nouveau gouvernement conservateur va réduire les impôts. Nous allons vivre selon nos moyens. A new conservative government will live within its means so that we can put more money back in the pockets of Canadians so that you can get ahead. Our campaign this fall will be full of new measures to relieve the pressure and ease the burdens Canadians face every day. In short, Conservatives will make life more affordable. Now, I'm a father to five exceptional kids, and my wife, Jill, and I know firsthand the pressures that come along uh, with a new addition to the family. Notre plan pour vous aider à améliorer votre quotidien commence avec les parents. Canada should be a place where, if you work hard, you're able to buy a home, save for school, save for retirement, care for kids, or for aging parents. And the government shouldn't stand in the way of the life that you want to build. Now, we've been saying for quite a while now that it's quite clear that Justin Trudeau is just not as advertised. It's because he made so many promises four years ago and Canadians took him at his word. Il a dit qu'il serait différent. Il a dit qu'il allait aider la classe moyenne. Mais il a augmenté les impôts de 80% de la classe moyenne et il a imposé une taxe sur le carbone qui rend les produits de tous les jours plus chers. Justin Trudeau has made life more expensive. He's increased taxes. He's made it so that uh, 80 percent of middle class families are paying higher taxes today than they were just four years ago. And he's imposed a carbon tax that is making everyday essentials like driving and heating your home more expensive, while other costs are going up as well. He said he would balance the budget. He said 2019 he would balance the budget or that the budget would balance itself. We now see permanent deficits as far uh, out into the future as 2040. He's run massive deficits which mean higher taxes are coming and threats to social programs. The last four years have proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that Justin Trudeau is not as advertised. Today Canadians like you are under pressure and worried about their future. I hear it all the time. People say, how are you going to help me? How are you going to help my family? Life is getting more expensive and we need relief. And why can't the government just get out of the way? Now, I've heard you and Canada's Conservatives have heard you. So today, I am pleased to offer you a promise that you can take to the bank. A new Conservative government will immediately start working, implementing our plan to make sure you get ahead. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le plaisir d'annoncer une promesse sur laquelle vous pouvez compter. Un nouveau gouvernement conservateur va immédiatement exécuter notre plan pour améliorer votre quotidien. Now, as I mentioned, Jill and I have learned five times over, a newborn requires around the clock attention and a whole lot of love and a whole lot of sacrifices. Now, parents should be able to put their energy toward those critical first few months and not have to worry so much about their bank accounts or their bottom line. That is why I am so proud today to announce that as Prime Minister, I will make EI maternity leave benefits tax-free. Les parents devraient pouvoir consacrer toute leur énergie à ces premiers mois critiques sans s'inquiéter de leur compte bancaire. C'est pourquoi je suis fier d'annoncer aujourd'hui que comme Premier ministre, je vais rendre les prestations de maternité libres d'impôts. Now, when a new mom goes on mat leave, uh, often they're already giving up up to 45% of their salary. And then the government comes along at the end of that and taxes some of it back. 
So the government shouldn't tax parents for the time they take to care for and bond with their new child when they're already making such a huge sacrifice. So a new Conservative government will provide a non-refundable tax credit of 15% for any income earned under the EI Maternity and Parental Benefit Programs. So someone making around $50,000 who goes on EI maternity leave benefits would save around $4,000 directly in their pocket to help pay for all the new costs that come with having a new child. Nous allons offrir un crédit d'impôt du même montant aux résidents du Québec qui touchent des prestations du régime québécois d'assurance parentale. This will help families across Canada get ahead, effectively making those benefits tax-free. Now, just last year, the Trudeau Liberals had the chance to support this policy when my private member's bill was before the House of Commons. Unfortunately, they chose not to. Because at the end of the day, Justin Trudeau thinks he can spend your money better than you. And when the election comes around, Trudeau's going to make a bunch of big promises. But he's already proven he can't be trusted. We already know he says things that he knows not to be true. So if he's re-elected, he's going to keep breaking those promises. Endless deficits will force him to raise taxes even higher. His carbon tax will go up, make gas, groceries, and home heating even more expensive. Sa dette va miner les services publics comme l'éducation et les soins de santé. Et son manque de jugement va créer d'autres scandales ici, au pays, et plus de faiblesse à l'étranger. Justin Trudeau vous a déjà laissé tomber. Ne le laissez pas recommencer. Justin Trudeau has let you down before. Do not let him do it again. J'hâte que cette élection commence. Je vais montrer aux Canadiens et aux Canadiennes comment ils peuvent améliorer le quotidien avec un nouveau gouvernement conservateur. I will present a positive, conservative, united vision for Canada where all Canadians can take part in that success. Where government leaves more in your pockets so the dreams and goals you've set for yourself get closer and closer. Our plan will help Canadians get ahead, not just get by. Merci. Thank you very much. Happy to take your questions. Mr. Shear, just want to ask you about uh, uh, Jack Letts, a.k.a. Jihadi Jack. Um, the Prime Minister yesterday was asked about it repeatedly. Would he welcome him to Canada? His response was, it's illegal to travel to Canada, or uh, travel internationally to take part in terrorism. But it's not clear that our laws would actually allow him to be charged because he's a British citizen who left from Britain. Your thoughts on bringing Jihadi Jack to Canada, and should he be charged if he is brought here? Well, I wouldn't lift a finger to try to get Jihadi Jack back to Canada. He's in prison now. That's where he should stay. That's where he should remain. Uh, Justin Trudeau's position on this is very well known. He has uh, indicated that returning ISIS fighters can be rehabilitated and should take poetry lessons. Uh, we believe they should be held accountable for their horrific crimes. Uh, we don't know why the Trudeau government uh, had officials reach out and offer consular services uh, in the past. That's very disturbing. Uh, so as I said, I, I believe he's in the right place right now. He's in prison. He should stay there. Hi, Andrew. I want to ask you about your announcement today. The focus, of course, is affordability for parents. I know you spoke on our channel, CP24, earlier today and were asked about how you'll pay for this. And you, you mentioned there'll be a fully costed platform to come, of course, during the campaign. But can you give people at home an idea, considering the theme of this is affordability, how a conservative government would afford this? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, a very good question. We're, as I said, we are going to have a fully costed campaign that will speak to controlling the rate of growth of government services. Now, I made the commitment here in Toronto as well that a Conservative government will increase transfers for health care and education. Uh, health care and social transfers will continue to go up. Uh, but we are going to get uh, control of the uh, spending increases that this government has embarked upon. In many cases, without a plan to actually deliver the funding, uh, without accountability measures put in place. Uh, so we're going to continue to have uh, uh, see control of the rate of growth of government spending. So we can focus on putting more money back, its, back in the pockets of Canadians. Uh, Justin Trudeau is always very worried about uh, how he can help his friends, how he can help the well-connected. Uh, we see who gets ahead under Justin Trudeau's Canada. It's corporate executives at SNC-Lavalin. It's the family that owns Loblaws, a multi-billion dollar corporation. Uh, he protects trust fund millionaires while attacking small business owners. Uh, we are going to be working hard to help hard-working Canadians get ahead. Uh, so as I said, we'll have a fully costed 
uh, platform that shows how Canada can get back to balanced budgets over a responsible period of time, a five-year plan to get back to balanced budgets so we can leave more money in the pockets of Canadians and help them get ahead. As the Child Canada benefit um, help at Canadians, uh, and will you promise to keep uh, it in place if elected? Sorry, can you just repeat the first part? I... So, as the Child Canada benefit help at Canadians, Will you promise to keep uh, in place mm -hmm. if elected? The child tax benefit? Yes. yes. So it is a conservative principle to provide support directly to parents. That's something that liberals fought against for decades. Uh, we, are, we, we support the principle. It was our principle, our original idea to s provide that support directly to parents. So of course we're going to continue to support that program and any program that provides those child care dollars or support for raising children directly to parents. That is a conservative position uh, originally and we will of course uh, follow through with that. Good morning. Uh, this morning's announcement seems like it's part of a broader strategy to focus on economic anxiety and questions about uh, whether Canadians feel like they're getting ahead. Why has your party chosen this message for your campaign theme? Mm. Well, it's quite simple. It's because what we're hearing from people. Our candidates are on the doors every day and they're hearing from people that they're working very hard, but the cost of living is, is getting out of control. There's a real cost of living crunch in this country. And Justin Trudeau is running around making things more expensive with carbon taxes, with increased payroll taxes. Uh, he hasn't done anything to address uh, real issues uh, like housing and things like that. Uh, so we're picking this up directly from voters that uh, Justin Trudeau is telling people that they never had it so good and he's pointing to uh, data points from the IMF and uh, other types of things, lots of acronyms that he likes to throw around. But when we talk to di people directly, they're telling us a story of how they're working harder and harder, longer and longer, but they're falling further and further behind. So this message today, this, this idea today, this policy today, and our entire platform will be aimed around lowering the cost of living so that Canadians can get ahead. Oui. Uh, nous avons appris de, directement de, de les Canadiens que uh, uh, ce n'est pas seulement un sens, c'est le fait qu'ils travaillent très très fort, mais la vie uh, vient, uh, de, uh, vient, uh, uh, serait plus en plus, coûte plus en plus cher. Alors notre plateforme entière va parler à uh, notre uh, objectif de rendre les coûts le, le coût de vie plus abordables lorsque les Canadiens peuvent avoir plus dans leur poche. Et, il peut améliorer le quotidien. Alors, Justin Trudeau a aimé de dire aux Canadiens que tout, tout est d'accord et euh, les Canadiens, toutes les choses fonctionnent et il cite les, les statistiques, mais euh, notre information, le sens qu'on a directement des électeurs est que euh, un gouvernement doit travailler pour les Canadiens. Bonjour, M. Scheer. Le gouvernement Ford a décidé de couper dans le financement municipal pour les garderies d'ici l'an prochain. Ça met des milliers de places en garderie en péril à Toronto. Pensez-vous que votre aide de prestation à la maternité est suffisante pour rendre la vie suffisamment abordable pour certains parents euh, pour qui c'est très difficile de payer pour les garderies? Euh, voilà. Oui, alors, ça c'est le vrai argent. Ça c'est 4 000 pour chaque un nouveau parent qui prend les prestations. Alors, ça, c'est le vrai appui. Ça va, ça va aider les, les, les nouveaux parents avec tous les coûts qui viennent avec un nouveau enfant. Et je peux euh, vous assurer, euh, il y a beaucoup. Il y a beaucoup de coûts euh, quand on parle de euh, les, les, les choses pour les, les chambres, pour les autos. Euh, mais 4 000 c'est le vrai appui. Et il donne la flexibilité. Maintenant, avec l'argent dans les poches des nouveaux parents, ils peuvent décider leurs priorités. Ils peuvent décider euh, euh, comment ils veulent dépenser l'argent. Uh, so, this is four thousand dollars. That is a, a significant assistance to new parents, and it's going directly in their pockets. It's staying right in their pockets, and that's going to be able to th to allow them to have the flexibility to decide how they want to spend it. Uh, so, I do believe that this is a, a significant assistance. It will absolutely help make raising children much more affordable for new parents. Comme j'ai dit, j'ai promis à augmenter l'appui pour les provinces, pour les programmes sociaux. Ça, c'est un engagement solennel. J'ai dit qu'avec les, les programmes de santé et les programmes sociaux, un gouvernement conservateur va augmenter l'appui pour toutes les provinces. Alors, avec cette promesse et cette mesure aujourd'hui, les Canadiens, les nouveaux parents, pour compter sur la vraie assistance pour rendre leur vie plus abordable. 
Hi, uh, good morning, Mr. Shear. Uh, Toronto and the Toronto region is a place where people are spending an increasing amount on their rent, an increasing amount on paying down their mortgage, and that makes it pretty tough to afford just about anything. So uh, what would you have in your plan to address the, the cost of, uh, of housing in this region? Mm. Well, uh, you've picked up on a very important issue, and, and when we think about new parents, when we think about people who are thinking about buying a new home in the short term and, and starting to have children, obviously raising children, the costs associated with raising children, and the difficulty in affording a new home uh, often go hand in hand, and, and, and they are uh, some of the anxieties that we've been hearing on the doors throughout the GTA and in many different places in Canada. So we will have very specific things to say during the election campaign about how we are going to tackle the issue of the uh, high cost of housing. It'll speak to a variety of issues, both in terms of uh, supporting infrastructure investments to, to open up new areas for development, uh, working with mis municipalities to lower uh, development times and lowering the regulatory uh, burden as well, and uh, ensuring that the dream of home ownership is within the reach of, uh, of Canadians. But today's announcement really does provide direct assistance to new moms and dads who are taking time off work, giving up f up to 45% of their salary. I mean, that's, that is a real sacrifice that new parents make when they decide to take those uh, first 12 months off uh, with their child. And uh, it's going to leave up to $4,000 directly in their pocket. That is a significant, tangible benefit that will help alleviate the high cost of living, especially as it relates to raising new children. Hi, D just want to follow up and see if you've received any insights as to if the RCMP will be responding to the letter you sent them yesterday. And I mean, I know you sent one several months back in February. Uh, the goal is obvious. I, I, I think it's all—it's clear to us all what you're looking to get out of it. But um, I mean, are, could, are you going to meet with them? Is, is there anything else from your perspective that they'll be able to provide you with? Yeah. Well, what I'm looking to get out of this is the truth. The, we're looking to get the truth for Canadians so they can understand the, the lengths that Justin Trudeau went to get a special deal for us in C-Lavalin. And uh, as you mentioned, I referred this case. It's up to the RCMP to decide uh, what they want to do with it, uh, whether or not they, uh, they are an independent uh, uh, police agency that will make those determinations uh, on their own. But the important thing here between the difference between uh, the spring and just recently is the new information that's come to light. Uh, essentially what we have is a picture where Justin Trudeau orchestrated a campaign to undermine the credibility of the decision of the Attorney General. Uh, she was not aware, Ms. Wilson-Raybould herself indicated that she was not aware uh, that Justin Trudeau's officials were going back and forth to SNC-Lavalin developing a strategy to get a special deal. And the reason why that's significant is because they are the defendants in this case. So to have a line of communication back and forth with SNC Lavalin officials and then go to the Attorney General without her knowledge that that was going on, uh, we believe is a very, very serious issue that rises to the level of obstructing justice. Uh, now it's up to the RCMP to make that determination. Uh, Ms. Wilson Rabel herself indicated that the RCMP was taking this seriously when she said that they contacted her in the spring. Uh, it's up to them now to decide what to go further uh, with it, but we now have an objective finding, not my opinion. It's not the Conservative Party position that Justin Trudeau broke the law or that Justin Trudeau attempted to undermine and discredit Jody Wilson-Raybould when she was Attorney General. This is now a finding, a fact, based on a conclusion from an independent officer of Parliament that is very, very serious and I'm hopeful and confident that the RCMP will take it seriously. Sorry, um, if I may go back to Jihadi Jack, what do you have, uh, what do you say to Canadians who believe that Canada has an obligation to its citizens? And would a Conservative government uh, once again amend uh, the Citizen Citizenship Act to strip the status of dual citizens accused of committing terrorism? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I would point in, in this situation that that uh, that because the United Kingdom has made this move first, it would be it would it's irrelevant what Canada's laws on dual citizens would would relate to. Uh, of course, Canada has an obligation to all its citizens, but uh, that does not mean that we have to proactively try uh, to go in and 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 assist someone who is being currently being held in prison for his horrendous crimes. Uh, we are talking about someone who has chosen on his own to travel, to participate, to to, to be complicit in some of the worst crimes imaginable. And, uh, and based on that, I don't believe that uh, other than uh, you know, our, the, 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 the minimum legal requirements that is imposed upon a government, anything else should be done beyond that. He's in prison now, and that's where he should stay. Thank you. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Thanks very much, and thank you, everyone. And what well-behaved kids. This is fantastic. <laughs> Are they like this 24-7? Is this... Uh... <laughs>